yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? This is your boy Jay from Keeping It Real, your arbiter of gaming news and commentary. Tell me what it is and what it ain't. Hit you off with that real deal name and news. So what's going on, everybody? I would appreciate it if you would like, share, subscribe if you dig my content. So like usual, I'm going to go ahead and dig into this. This has been some late breaking news. So, man, yeah, man, I'm just here to tell you guys it's been confirmed pretty much being confirmed for the Xbox Scorpio's price of being 500 or less. And this is due to the fact that um, The Verge, I'm going to go ahead and link this in the description box. Um, a article that just came out saying that Microsoft has cut the Xbox S price down to $199 ahead of the reveal of the Xbox Scorpio. So we all know what that means. We knew it was coming price looks like it has been cut down to 199 now those of us who knew what was up knew this was coming and that's already setting up for a you know this 449 or 400 or we're gonna see which one is gonna be price tag um and that's where the premium console comes in at of it being a 400 to 449 price tag so it looks like that confirms it of what we was hoping for, hoping for a console that was going to be 500 or less. All those haters and masturbators that was talking about, man, uh, hey, well, it was going to be a lot more than that. And, um, you know, or, man, talking about $800, $900. Oh, man, you, you, a console can't do that. Yeah, that's just crazy, man. That, that thing is next gen. That thing is next gen. I mean, we were hearing all types of stuff, man. I mean, I mean, the, the, the list is ridiculous. Um, the gold moving is ridiculous. You know, first it's talking about, oh man, this is gonna cost too much. Then is, uh, well, man, it, you know, that just can't be possible. Well, okay, well if it is, well, it ain't gonna do sixty. Oh, well now it's doing sixty. Oh well, now now it ain't gonna be able to do it on high settings. They can do four K sixty high settings and be that price because that's ridiculous. There's no way it can do all that for that price. So we heard everything. You know what I mean? Now it looks like it's confirmed that man, we're actually gonna get a console that can do all these things for a price that's 500 or less. And man, I can't be more excited about that, man, because that's a huge relief for a lot of us who knows that price was the only Achilles heel in all of this. That was just the thing where we're thinking, man, it has everything else. Hopefully it's at the right price because it is not. That could be one of the Achilles heels to the Scorpio that would have, you know, that would have not made it as accessible to so many people. And um, this also proves that Microsoft is in it to win it, man. They're not just trying to make some hardcore console that only a niche few is going to pick up. No, man, they're making a mainstream, uh, a mainstream console for everyone to get their hands on. This will be microsoft's new flagship console this will be the one where they want you to grade them on um this will be the new standard now that being said um the xbox s is no slouch and this is what i was telling people before there's it's it's not just by accident that they chose to make this xbox s a better than the og um xbox in every way and even providing a ultra 4K Blu-ray player. There was no, that wasn't by no mistake. They did that because they wanted to make sure that you guys understood that, hey man, even in their S, they're gonna provide quality. And it's still a premium product for the price. Um, so, I mean, this is sets the stage for any other company, man. This sets the bar um, for Sony and, you know, um, to A, step up their a game right now of course they're on they're all about uh exclusives right now for obvious reasons but the thing is they're gonna have to step up their hardware too um when they come the next time uh with their playstation 5 it's gonna have to be stepped up and i'm excited about that because it's these type of things that forces all other companies to get their game ready. and this is a really exciting time for all gamers because at the end of the day, when it comes to um, competition, we all win as gamers, you know? So as long as we're voicing our opinions and speaking up. So yeah, man, that's pretty much my video for today um, on this. I'm really excited. 
um you know it's being confirmed man so I, I hope everyone's good man hit me up in the comment box all right man this is jay i'm keeping it real next time i'm gone